on everyone welcome back to another YouTube video for any of you guys that are new here my name is Levi now it's really really weird being back considering the fact I took I took a longer break than a week than people know because I always have a video edited prior to like the following week coming up or like days prior coming up so it's really weird to be holding the camera again and vlogging I don't think my shoulder is used to it yet again but anyway as the title of this video says I'm weeks out from a show uh, today's video I'm gonna be kind of going over a brief I would say vlog of like why I'm doing the show where I'm at prior to doing the show, just all around what to expect from me doing the show. Hey man, not be dick, but yep. man, you gotta have your shirt on. Oh, you do have to have this side, side. yeah. sitting at a good place I'm still relatively lean as you guys can see I have a lot to work on though especially with posing um, vacuum too especially if I want to do a vacuum I'm not really too concerned with it I'm still gonna practice it though so that I have it just in case I'd say I'm sitting around 12 13 percent body fat it's still pretty lean prior to getting you know into a show I just stay pretty lean like as you guys know my full day of eating I'm eating like 4,200 calories, but I'm still like doing running every once in a while because I'm still doing 75 hard, which is also still a thing that we're doing. So that doesn't end until like mid-April. So I'm going to be starting the cut in May just because I'm not, I would say, fat enough or have as much body fat on me to, I would say, start cutting in April. So April is going to be the last month that we continue on the bulk and then we'll start removing calories probably, honestly, at the last week of April. So yeah, that's a physique update. We're looking good so far. And it's funny because I actually had no idea that this room ever existed at the gym I was going to, which is pretty cool because I can start posing in here now. Just had to record the pancake sequence really quick because the party mix pancakes by Kodiak are amazing and I just had to update you guys on that because I've been eating Kodiak pancakes as you guys have seen like my full days of eating on my bulk and I usually do two servings but the party mix is freaking so good. This isn't a full day of eating. Um, I just again want to talk to you guys about the bodybuilding and whatnot and for those who have been here for quite a while or maybe you're new here and maybe you've happened to check out like a couple of my I would say past videos. I've talked before in I think like two or three other videos about doing a bodybuilding show. The first reason I couldn't do a bodybuilding show was because COVID hit and I had this whole, I would say, mindset when it came to starting YouTube and social media that I was going to do bodybuilding, implement it into social media. I wouldn't say that I was ever passionate about bodybuilding before, but I wanted to kind of give it a try and I'd seriously gotten into lifting around that time. So I thought, oh, this would be cool. COVID happened, postponed that wasn't really able to i would say get into it at all then some time went on and shows weren't allowed until i would say like a full like almost year after covid was kind of around at least for my state i didn't really want to go travel to another state to compete in a bodybuilding event plus you had to wear masks and all that crap and i just thought you know like if i want to do this i want to do it like you know the original way how bodybuilding's like always been then we kind of got to that point because i had been planning to move to texas and i was going to do summer shredding when i moved down there and then what happened was, well, a bunch of crap just happened. And essentially, as I've seen what happened, like I had to come back home. There's just so much more. And plus, like I was in between home and Houston like three or no, two times while I was down there. And it would have just messed with my diet, my prep, everything. Like I said, I plan to do a show now and I'm just going to send it. Um, I'm not going to like, no excuses this time. The only reason I wouldn't be able to is if I like had some sort of injury that prevented me from doing it or if something serious came up with my family. Other than that, like my plan as of right now is to just do it. With that being said, this is also going to be my first bodybuilding show. I don't know what to expect. I'm not holding any expectations on it whatsoever. You know, whether maybe I don't get lean enough or maybe I don't do the best on stage, you know, whatever it is, I'm just going to do my best. Go get yourself a box. So, a 
Another reason that I am pursuing bodybuilding is because of this place right here. This is DCC's gym, like I just mentioned, and this is the foundation or the place where I initially thought of my dream. I remember we were parked over there somewhere. I'm sitting in the car with James, and I'm like, dude, just like imagine if like one day we can own our own gym, like we start recording stuff and yada yada yada, and then we went in, and then I went home that day, bought a freaking GoPro, and then I bought another camera and just upgraded from there on out. But this is literally the foundation of where my dream started. So I brought you guys here just to kind of like show you guys and explain more of why I wanted to do bodybuilding plus I had to go get some groceries personally I don't like going out on places on purpose to record stuff because it just interferes with my day way too much yeah this is it like this is this is the area I'd go inside but like I can't I'm not a student anymore here like I said another reason that I want to do bodybuilding is because of the foundation of this dream and this dream I would say like I started out so like fearless right but then as stuff gets more serious like there's money involved like you know you're making X amount per month and then you know you need people to edit your videos and stuff and like I, I honestly need someone to start editing my videos so I can start like brands and stuff like I need to get to that point but I would say that I've become so fearful compared to fearless where like I first started so another reason that I'm competing in this bodybuilding show is because I just feel like I've been so cooped up with fear about doing it even that you know I can't even pursue the dream so I'm like you know what I just got to do it I just got to send it that's why I'm also competing in a powerlifting show and a bodybuilding show and by the way I'm also competing in a 20k I'll explain more later the whole point of me doing this bodybuilding thing essentially is to break this fear barrier that I've just been completely stuck in and coming here just you know I, I literally come here and I just think to myself I'm like and who was that kid that came into a gym with like, just, he was just like so zoned in. He was like, this is it, this is it. Cause if the kid back then saw what I was doing now, he would be shitting his pants. Literally like if the kid back then knew that I was gonna go to Alpha, Alpha Elite one day, even just to visit would have crapped his pants. If he would have known that I was gonna go live there, he would have crapped his pants. But it's funny because that same person, which is me, got there, was depressed about everything and just it's just ridiculous it just blows my freaking mind this is this is it like this is the foundation of everything and another reason like i said why i'm doing bodybuilding is just so i can you know overcome fear it's not just to help me overcome fear it's to help you guys overcome fear too because my whole message with what i'm doing essentially which i'll explain a lot more later on like i said i'm doing a 20k too and you're probably like what the hell um it's to essentially break uh fear barriers in your life and i'm trying to help you guys do that as much as i can with like the whole channel it's like literally my purpose in doing what i'm doing because my brain is so feared wired recently that i'm trying to break it and i feel like the only way that i can break it by doing things that like i would have been fearless against in the past I say fear has just been consuming much more of my life than it needs to right now but that's gonna do it for this video it's a very short video i hope you guys like this video if you guys did be sure to give it a like if any of you guys are new here do not forget to press that subscribe button because you guys know i will be back and as always sky's the limit die trying doing what you love and until next time